It's currently 5.30 in the morning. I'm outside waiting on Jeff to pick me up on his motorbike. He's gonna take me down to the local fishing beach so we can watch the fishermen bring in their catch. And then after that, we're gonna drive up Monkey Mountain to hopefully see some monkeys and a thousand year old tree. We shouldn't have too much problem finding that since it's been in the same place for a thousand years. That tree is super old. This is all the same tree. That's the same tree. That's the same tree. That's the main part of the same tree. That's the same tree. Same tree. Just all grow down from the branches. <laughs> Good morning. Did you have fun? Yeah. We had to check out of our hotel really quickly this morning. I forgot to say exactly where we were going. Jeff and Nancy just drove us to Hoi An, which is a small city about 45 minutes south of Da Nang. From everything we've heard, it's like everybody's favorite city in Vietnam. I'm so excited! And they just dropped us off. We're attempting to find our hotel and then we're gonna meet back up with them for breakfast. Found it. Oh, I like this. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I think this is us then. Yeah. Karen, right, I'm Tao, nice to meet you. Tao? Right. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, you Tao. Nice to meet you. She is adorable. This is super nice. This room is really nice. Do we have to climb out the window to go outside? No, it's got a door behind the curtain. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was looking forward to climbing out the window. <laughs> I think we should do it anyways. Check out this view. I'm pretty impressed. For like $25 a night, a good view and free breakfast. Yay. Double thumbs up. We just parted ways with Jeff and Nancy. They yeah, went back so. to Da Nang and we've been walking around looking at shops the whole afternoon right. and this yeah. place is adorable. We're gonna be here for the next two days. So far I would describe Hoi An as Hanoi minus about 10,000 motorbikes and with much better beach weather. And more shops. Oh my goodness. There are like a million shops here and Kara has not passed a single one. Anything that has flowy rompers, she is there. It's gonna be a long day. We have done absolutely no research on what to do here, but so far walking around has been interesting enough. We just got to this massive market. Food everywhere. And we're spinning. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> she just passed up dollar earrings. There were too many. Feeling a little warm. <laughs> Lost her again. 
they are like really hard on their sales pitch here. But I think we figured out that the camera is the deterrent. They seem a little shy about hard selling us when the camera's on. I'm trying to capture the, you buy something, we'll get it before we leave. One tailor shop, two tailor shop, three tailor shops, four tailor shops, five tailor shop. I'll let shopping wore us out, even though we didn't buy anything. <laughs> I bought one thing. Since we've been in Vietnam, we've learned about this afternoon tradition. And since we're in Vietnam, we decided that we should at least experience it one time. Afternoon nap. Seriously, everybody takes afternoon nap. Like, we were looking for some North Face jackets, like, right after lunch. Every store we walked in, the person got up off the floor. They were sleeping on the floor they were, while they were Just working. go to sleep. I love it. Yeah. So we're going to participate in the local tradition because it seems like the right thing to do. Turns out we are naturals at the Vietnamese afternoon nap. <laughs> Got that tradition down pat. How was your nap? It was great. I have not yeah. had that hard a time getting her out of bed in a long time. And the nap was your idea. It was at least an hour. We heard about this dish that you can only get in Hoi An. It sounds similar to stir fried pho but a little different with like their own spin here. We just asked the lady at our hotel where the best place to get it was. She drew it out on the map. So that's where we're heading now. Then if we still have an appetite, Anthony Bourdain says the best banh mi sandwich is in this city. So we might just get that too. I'm gonna say we're at least gonna have an appetite to split the sandwich. Let's see it. This is what we came for. And we got this as a local recommendation from the lady that works at our hotel. And it looks local. It's definitely that. I like it. And if it's not good, we'll just go get a bomb meat. Can't go wrong. Looks like we have one choice of pork with noodles and green things. Hmm. Thank you. Similar to fuss out. It looks pretty good though. <laughs> Garrett seems to disagree. <laughs> we didn't get a big mmm. That's not bad. This was a expectations thing. I got her expectations here when I should have had them here. If they were here, I would have just agreed to come. Pro saving room for Bon Me. My research and planning the past two nights has resulted in two mediocre noodle dishes. Sorry. Okay. Better than no noodles. I guess so. Tell us what just happened. So the main entrance to the old city is charging people. And earlier we got away with it because Jeff and Nancy are from here and they just said no and we kept walking. And I think we just found a way in without waiting. And it's the coolest alleyway I've ever seen. Yeah. We're in. Yes. Secret passage. I expected an Anthony Bourdain recommended restaurant to be a little more crowded. There's the man. Can we get two 13s? That's scary. Well, that's nice of her. She brought me two and you none. I have high expectations for Anthony Mordain's Holly Rick. 
Better or worse than the banh mi in Hanoi? That's what I was gonna say. I hate to argue with the culinary master. But I think banh mi 25 is better. Well, Anthony Bourdain just hasn't been to Bombay 25 yet. No problem. Anthony Bourdain, I'm sure you're watching our vlog. <laughs> you need to reconsider and go to Bombay 25 and like, <laughs> I can tell you my feeling well. Because you videoed me talking about food and not started eating for a long time. <laughs> Kara feels like she has the flu. I'm sorry. One more stop before calling it a night. Check out the lighting this provides. This shop has its own roaster, which is a good sign. We just got espresso with ice cream. If you gave me a million dollars and said you can buy whatever you want, this is what I would buy. But I don't know what to do. Should I eat the ice cream or should I drink the coffee? I think you drink the ice cream before it melts. That's delicious. There's a concept. There's an interesting napkin situation we have going on here. This is like a sheet of paper. There's a lot of truth in this shirt. Harry Buddha. Kara wanted to know why there were so many scary mugshots on the table. We've established that they're passport photos. We're not the only ones with bad passport pictures. 